The movement was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, the signals being sent. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. They want their weapons. You have to wake yourself up. Look out for Charlie. I want that son of a bitch dead. I want him dead. Today, I'm going to talk to you about tinnitus. The reason why is because I was doing some recording and I ran into some frequencies. And two, because uh, apparently tinnitus has worsened in recent years. And before anybody gets their hot fingers ready to correct me, I don't care how it's pronounced. Tinnitus, tinnitus, people have this thing where they want to get me involved in irrelevant arguments. And I'm not going to argue it and here's why. Because it doesn't exist. Tinnitus doesn't exist. Not in the way that they are selling it to you. And everything is sold that way. Everything. Over and over. It's sold that way. Things start getting messed around. They start playing with geoengineering. And suddenly it's your fault. Because you drive a car. Because you exist. Because you leave a carbon footprint. As soon as they started messing with geoengineering, they brought in Earth Day. It's all about you. You're the problem. And they do this with everything. And now, tonight is, is your fault because you've been around loud stuff or you injured yourself, you know, in a factory or whatever. It's not the case. It, whatever they say isn't the case. I'm going to prove it to you. I'm not just talking shit. So, I was doing some recording and I had left my mic on the table and left the recorder going. And when I played it back, there were some frequencies in the air. You could hear it. It was like the room was filled with frequencies and everything was shut down. There was nothing playing. I shut down everything when I record now because my interference used to be so loud. I've done this before, but this is a little different and I wanted to show you what's what and why tinnitus doesn't exist. It's put on you, like I said, and generally they say that there's something wrong with your brain and your, it, the brain is sending pulses to the ears and it's not making a connection properly and then it, it can't get back and there's a confusion in it so you, your brain's causing ringing and it's in your head. It's just all in your head because you've got bad genes or whatever the fuck they say, right? But what they don't tell you is that there are doctors out there they can physically hear the tinnitus in the ears of their patients with their stethoscope. And of course they have another bunk reason for that too. They, what they won't tell you is that ELF, extremely low frequency, causes tinnitus. And many other frequencies in the electromagnetic spectrum cause tinnitus. And what they don't tell you and what you can't see is that we are being drowned in electromagnetic frequency all the time. So let's just dive into it. In this particular recording there was nothing running in the room at all electronically. In the house electronically except for my computer and my microphone. And when I played it back it sort of had this feeling to it, like a feeling, a vibe to the sound in the room, like it was just filled with sound. So when I play this, you're going to hear this high frequency noise, and then you're going to hear these low ELF pulses pulsing away. So I'll play about, I don't know, 15 seconds of it or so. Check it out. My mics are well grounded. They're well grounded. My computer is well grounded. I have tons of ferrite magnets on my my cords, on the computer cords. There's no reason for this. Uh, it's not normal. I make videos all the time and it doesn't have all this noise to it. So, you know, what's going on? So if you look at it spectrally, there is a lot of stuff going on in there. There's noises and tones are just below 20,000 hertz, 20 kilohertz, and this is a stereo signal. 
that's hitting us because in the left channel up here you can see that there is a, a tone right about 11,400 hertz or 11.4 kilohertz and here there is a very strong tone just below 15,000 hertz. So what I did was I started bringing down that tinnitus tone just like I've done before in videos. Let's check it out. Stage two was to significantly bring down this tone. So I brought it down from uh, that one was just below 15 kilohertz or 15,000 hertz down to just below 2,000 hertz or 2 kilohertz. Let's check it out for a few seconds and listen to it. Now this is an external source and can be an external source of tinnitus where people like me I don't have tinnitus all the time for the most part I will get blasted with tinnitus as soon as I enter my house if I've been gone for a long time things like that or it will just hit me out of nowhere what it will do you know some people have it 24 7 but mine is uh, special in the sense that if I dive under my car to work on it quickly or climb a ladder quickly it can just go out and it will go out and then once I hit ground level again the tinnitus will seem to refine me after 10-15 minutes before fading away okay so here is uh, stage 3 let's see where it's at on the spectral level now this is where I brought it down and it's starting to enter human speech range like the frequencies of the tinnitus are being brought down to you know 400 to let's see 400 to 600 Hertz here so let's play this one for a minute and it sounds a little weird Now, a lot of the frequencies that I pull out of these recordings without without touching them, without pitching them, bringing them down, messing with them, when I read off these frequencies, a lot of them are the exact tones that other people get in their ears. And there is a multitude of them. You can find them at all different tones. Like if I find uh, 11,400 uh, hertz, it's going to be there in all recordings no matter where I am the strength is just going to be different and it can be different at different times which is curious right now what is very curious about these tinnitus type tones is when you get down and get them into the thousand and under range and start messing with them they tend to break up and you see how it's broken up now and it's not such a distinct line and not such a distinct tone it's weird right well let's play it and see what it's doing now isn't that weird what's that doing in the air it's not a radio station that's a tinnitus tone a tinnitus like tone that's been brought down now if I were stupid I could go well that's a uh, blah 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 but it's voices those are voices brought down from a semi ultrasonic range to human speech range those are voices so here are the tinnitus frequencies that have been brought down to the human voice spectrum where they can't heterodyne with anything else 
and here they are just by themselves. Let's loop that right there, and then I'll keep playing it. Interesting, right? And tinnitus cases are jumping up everywhere. It's going crazy. Hmm. Loop that one right there. Was that? Let's loop that. So there's something going on with this, right? I mean, that's noise from one of your electronics doing that. That's what they would say. You know, rational thinking. Maybe not scientific, but rational thinking. Now here's the, the next stage where I was altering it and trying to bring it up with a different equalizer to bring out certain things and then get rid of uh, other frequencies that I didn't want. Let's give this one a play. That sounds like somebody talking through a damn walkie-talkie. Oh, it's the Crotch Rocket Gang. Johnny Tran and his crew are driving by right now. So let's loop this right here. So do people have tinnitus? Absolutely not. I don't buy it. It's not because your brain, it's not because of your bad genetics, it's not because of some injury. You have tinnitus because of external sources. What? What is that? that that's a voice, 100%. It sounds like a bad CB connection. What was that? Let's go to this real quick. Let's check it out. These were ultra high frequencies, and now all of a sudden they're human voices. What's the conclusion? The conclusion is you don't have tinnitus. You don't have it. Tinnitus doesn't exist. Tinnitus is being caused by external sources. Now is it possible that 0 0.01 cases are actual tinnitus or less than 1%? Absolutely. 
could they be caused by some type of injury that somebody had sure but this whole rise in tinnitus for no reason is ridiculous ridiculous and it's always some genetic thing you know it's because of your bad genes or it's because of you it's because of something that you did in fact the only way to describe any of this any of it is artificial tinnitus it's artificial tinnitus period look out for Charlie